In this video, we will extract a particular cell value from Excel through UiPath. Let's start by dragging and dropping the Excel application scope activity. It opens an Excel workbook for execution and closes it after execution. Click on the folder icon to browse the stored Excel file. Browse for location where your Excel file is stored. Drag and drop the read cell activity in the do sequence. The highlighted section specifies the sheet name. Change the cell value as you need. Create a variable in results section by pressing Ctrl plus K to store the value. Drag and drop the message box to display the output. Click on Run File from Debug File dropdown. Output is displayed as follows in the message box. Next, let's see an example of read range. Let's see how to read an Excel file in UiPath Studio. Drag and drop the Excel application scope to open the Excel workbook. Browse the file and click Open. Drag and drop the read range activity. The first input given is the name of sheet of Excel workbook that we want to read. And second is the range which in our case, if not specified, will read the whole sheet. To store the values create a variable by pressing Ctrl plus K in the data table section of output property. To convert the data table to string for displaying, we will use output data table. Provide the input as the data table variable created earlier. To store string formatted output, create the variable by again pressing Ctrl plus K in the text section of output property. Drag and drop the right line activity and provide the created string variable name to display the output in the output panel. Click on run file from debug file dropdown. See how to read just the highlighted cells from the Excel sheet. The syntax will be in double quotes starting cell colon ending cell, which in our case will be in double quotes a1 colon b3. Click on run file from debug file dropdown. Output will be displayed as follows. Let's continue that by another example in this video to print only the details of only the second table highlighted below. That is in this case all cells from A7. To achieve this task, simply provide the value of start cell in the range. Click on Run File from Debug File dropdown. Output will be displayed as follows. Make sure to subscribe for more such informative content. I have created many videos on UiPath tutorial, make sure to check them and next I am planning create videos on C-sharp programming languages so stay tuned.